welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a December favorites video. I'm super excited because there is so much that I have been loving in the month of December and the fact that it's going to end tonight. Yeah, today is New Year's Eve. I'm really excited. I'm like really caffeinated and like pumped for today. Um, if you hear a lot of noise, uh, my whole family is kind of getting ready for New Year's Eve and cooking and stuff. So don't mind that. It's just a hustle and bustle kind of day. But I want to make this video so I can have it up for you guys um, probably in January of 2016. That sounds so weird. So anyway, so if you want to know what my December favorites were, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with non-beauty related products first, just because I have a lot of beauty products and I kind of want to get the other things out of the way. The first items are these is these, are these, are these. Um, they're really cute mugs with the letter J on them for Jessie. Um, this one is a gold with a cute little gold J and this is a little bit more like simple and modern. Um, I love these, I put this on my vanity for brushes or if I get like new makeup, lipsticks and stuff, I put them in here just cause you know, I don't wanna put them away cause they're new. Does anybody else do that? So these are the mugs I have been loving and these are some, Real Techniques brushes. They are the metallic bold metals collection, I believe. They're really, really pretty. I almost don't want to use them. I just kind of stick it in the mug because they look really pretty on my vanity. <laughs> so yeah, those are the first things. So my next favorite item is a pair of sunglasses and this is by Key Australia times Amanda. These are the Muse style. They are so freaking pretty. I have been eyeing these for such a long time and they were sold out forever. Um, they are super reflective, so you can probably see the entire mess in front of me, which is kind of embarrassing. But yeah, um, these are amazing. I've been wearing them almost every day since I got them. They just make you feel fancy, and they're very flattering. I love them. Yes. Okay, so the next product is a hair tool, and it is this Babyless Nano Titanium 1-inch Curling Iron. I love this. I have curled my hair more in the past two months than I have in my entire life which is weird, but I just, it's just so easy and I hate doing like hair. I'm just so, I don't know, it's so rare for me to like fix up my hair. So this actually just makes it so easy and I've actually been enjoying it and it takes like 10 minutes. So this is amazing and I love this and it gets really hot really fast. It's perfect. Next up we have a hair product and it is this Orbe Oribe Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. I got a sample, a small in one of my boxes, my beauty boxes, I can't remember which one it was, but I love that and I used it and I was like, okay, this is amazing. I don't like putting product in my hair, especially sprays, things that get like sticky, dry, or crunchy. Um, this doesn't feel crunchy, I mean, you don't, you don't want to put too much, but it's almost like a dry shampoo with the hold of a spray. So after I curl my hair, I spray it in my roots. You can even spray blow dry a little bit for it to like really like lock in that hold and it just gives you so much volume in your roots. I love it. I This is just like really pricey, but I don't know, I splurged. I never get like hair products like this, so this is like a revelation for me. So I love this stuff, it's awesome. Yes. So the next product is a perfume and this was actually an early Christmas present and this is by Elie Saab and it smells, it smells like flowers. It's just so beautiful. It has more of a mature smell to it and I thought like I wasn't gonna be able to wear it but I've been wearing this like every day. It's so beautiful and the bottle is so luxurious. Just, I don't know. I just love looking at it. It smells good. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, actually, hold on. Yes. Okay, so the next product is kind of like a makeup organizational, did I say that right? Tool. Um, it is this right here. This is by Zara Beauty and Trend Mood from Instagram. Uh, she's amazing, I love her page, and if you are not following her, you should be, because she literally will make you want to buy makeup. She tells you the latest of everything, it's amazing. She hurts my wallet, but it's okay. Um, she collabed with Zara Beauty to create this beautiful organizer, and it's so convenient. Let me show you, without dropping anything. So. This part comes off, so you can put brushes, lip products, pencils, whatever you want in here. Awesome. You can have this on its own, or you can like put it wherever you want. 
The top part has slots here, open spots here, so you can literally just put whatever you want. And it holds quite a bit of makeup too. I currently just have this because I don't want to like bombard it right now. Just want to show you. And this top part comes off. So you can put whatever you want down there, but there's also a little slot so you can have this on top and still slide things in and out. This is absolutely so convenient and so cute, so beautiful, and it looks great on my vanity. I love this a lot. So really quickly, I want to throw in my favorite movie of the month, and of course it's Star Wars. Duh. I feel like a lot of people have put that in their December favorites, but it's true. I've been watching Star Wars since I was really little. I've always loved it and me and my friends actually watched all six of them like in different nights in preparation for the movie and then we went and watched the movie. I saw it twice in theaters already. I would even go watch it like a hundred times more. It's amazing. I love it. It was just great. And if you have not seen it, I mean, if you're not into Star Wars, I feel like you'd still enjoy it. I don't know, that's just me. So let's move on to some makeup. Okay, so for makeup products, I think I'm gonna start off with face things first. And the very first product is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette in the color Fair. I got into contouring, I believe in December, right? Sometimes I go back on Instagram and I like, I scroll. I'm like, when did I start loving this? It's kind of like a little diary for me. I love Instagram. It's just yeah, I love this. It's really creamy. It's really nice, easy to use. I definitely don't go like overboard, like full glam every day, but little touches really makes a difference. Kind of, really not, but I like it. It's like that extra step that makes you feel more glam, but powder will probably give you the same effect sometimes. So I love this still, and I literally hit pan on a bunch of these, so yeah. The next thing that I have been loving, I actually wanted to put in a haul video. I wanted to do a haul, but all the things that I basically bought is in my favorites video, and yeah. So I was like, okay, it's just gonna be like a repeat. So basically, I loved everything that I just purchased, so this is a, one of those things, and it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation, and this is in the color 120. I got this in December, loved it. I've been only using this since I got it. No joke. Love it. It looks like skin. It doesn't get oily. It does not get dry. It does not get cakey. It looks amazing. Um, there are days where I like wake up and I'm just like, I just put this on my face. I blend it and I'm out the door. And there are days where I like completely prep my skin and like put primer and moisturizer. And both those times, it just looks amazing. It doesn't look bad. I feel like you can't mess this up. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know. I've been loving this. I will definitely keep repurchasing this until it stops working on my face. Because foundations do that. Or it's just me and I have problems. I don't know. I love that foundation. It's amazing. I feel like it's really good for all skin types. If you are super oily, I would say have like a setting powder or something with you. Because it might get a little dewy-ish looking, but not like greasy. I have normal skin, so I don't have problems with that. I like how it looks like skin and I don't look like I'm wearing a mask and it like has amazing coverage. Next up we have the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Translucent Powder. I love this. Again, I just use this every single day to set my makeup. It works amazingly. I use this with a damp beauty blender most days and it just it becomes like so creamy onto the skin and just absorbs so much better. So if you take like a damp beauty blender, dip it in the powder and just start pressing it into the skin, I feel like it gives me more of a flawless, long-lasting finish. Do you feel me? Are we understanding? Okay, so this is an amazing powder. It is literally what people talk about all the time and they're right. It is a really good powder. So yeah. The next product is this Benefit What's Up Highlighter Cream. It is a cream stick highlighter and once you apply it and kind of blend it out, it kind of turns into a powder-like finish. It doesn't stay greasy, oily, or slick looking. Um, I love this. I feel like it's an amazing primer for other highlighters. Like I will apply it and then put a highlighter on top of it and it's just like, whoa, very intense. If you don't like intense highlighter, like don't do that, but you can also wear this by itself and it's absolutely beautiful. I used this in one of my recent tutorials. I showed you guys how I use this without disturbing like powder on your face because sometimes if you put cream on powder, it like separates. So yeah, I love this. This is an awesome, awesome color too. It's very pretty. It's a neutral champagne shade. So yes. 
So the next products are two brushes that I have been absolutely loving. Um, the first one is the Morphe E8. It's like a small kind of dense round brush, perfect for blending out cream contour, concealer underneath your eyes, um, blush, highlighter, I mean whatever. It's just amazing, multi-purpose, amazing, amazing, amazing. The next brush is the Morphe E34, and it's a dense, round kind of powder brush. You can definitely use this to blend in a cream foundation or, like, liquid foundation or whatever. Um, but I use this for powder, like, buffing it in, like, translucent powder, anything like that. It's just so soft and so good. These are such good quality brushes. I love them. Um, I always say, like, I want the whole Elite collection. Dang, one day I will. One day I will have the entire collection, slowly but surely. Okay, next up we have a mascara I've been loving, and that is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. This is my second one that I just whipped out today. Um, my other one got dried up, but this is the primer that comes with it if you buy it. The other one I got in one of my beauty boxes. But if you buy it, it comes with a little primer, which I, I used today. And I didn't really understand it, because it's like brown. And I felt like nothing, it's like kind of like brownish and it has like fibers on it but when I was applying it like nothing was really happening. <laughs> so I didn't really understand that. But the mascara itself. Okay, so I love this mascara because it gives me beautifully long, like it looks like I have extensions. Um, I love it but the only con I have with this is it will sometimes, not all the time, start crumbling and like kind of land on your face at the end of the day. Um, that's my only con. It doesn't bother me all the time, but I still really really like this. I feel like it's one of those I feel like I'll get over it eventually, but right now I love this mascara <laughs> So the next a lot of products is all liquid lipsticks and um, it's gonna be a little bit crazy But let's get through this. These are all my favorites of this month that I have been wearing the most and loving You guys know I have a liquid lipstick problem obsession. It's crazy, but yeah um, some of the ones that I have been wearing the most this month are, first up, we have the Kylie Lip Kit um, in Candy K. I have all three colors. It's kind of funny because I have not worn Dulce K, Dolce? Dolce K out yet. Um, I've only like swatched it on my lips once, but the Candy K is what I'm drawn to the most because it's the most beautiful nude mauve shade for me. I thought it was going to be so much lighter than I expected, but it's not. It's really, really pretty, and I love the formula of this. It comes with a matching lip liner. I do wear them together, but sometimes I kind of don't wear the lip liner because usually I don't with liquid lipsticks. You really don't need it. Um, this is Candy K. It's a really pretty warm, pinky, mauve nude shade. I love it. It's kind of my go-to lip. Um, next up, we have the BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the color Clara. And this, again, is another gorgeous color that I've been wearing a lot lately. This is a little bit darker and a little bit more warmer than the Candy K. But again, the formula of this one is amazing as well. This is, like, it was kind of a surprising and good... It was a surprising find. Like, I wasn't expecting to love this, basically, and I did. So, yeah, moving on to the next. It's the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the color Truffle. And again, this is another color I have been wearing almost every day, a go-to shade. It's almost similar to Candy K, but a lot pinker and a little bit lighter. I love Truffle, and I don't always like the Dose of Colors formula, but for some reason, Truffle just works for me. I like this. Of all my Dose of Colors, I love this one the most. So, yeah. Next up, we have two Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. The very first one is... Celebrity Skin, and this is my newest one. I love this color. It's amazing. It's kind of like a brown nude shade. Perfect for every day. I love this. Again, one of those go-to colors I have been gravitating the most for. And the other Jeffree Star liquid lipstick is called Androgyny, and this color is everything. I'm wearing it right now on my lips. It is a gorgeous dark purpley mauve shade. Amazing. I love it. It's just... I don't know, it's like one of those gorgeous flattering shades. I feel like, I'm just so glad he's bringing it back as a permanent item because I feel like once I start finding out that this is running out, I'm gonna definitely buy another one. 
for sure. So really quickly before I end the video, I'm just gonna address one quick little thing in case somebody has any questions. What is on my eyes? I'm wearing only one eyeshadow and that's the ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Birthday Girl. This was a limited edition color that came out a while ago, but I love it. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's just a beautiful gold champagne shade with lots of sparkle in it. I love this color. I literally just have it on my lid blended out the edges just a little, added mascara, and that's my New Year's Eve look. I wanted to keep it simple but a little bit festive. Um, I'm going to be spending New Year's with my family just chilling, relaxing, you know, family time. Um, I hope that you guys have an amazing New Year's. Um, it's been a crazy 2015. I a lot has happened, but I know 2016 is going to be greater and bigger and better. I cannot wait. You guys have given me so much love and support. I just, it's kind of like overwhelming how much I love and so much like, I just, huh. I love you guys. Thank you so much for following me and supporting me. I love it. I appreciate it more than you guys will ever know. Huh. This video will be posted in 2016 for sure because, you know, it's the last day, the only couple hours until 2016, which is so exciting. Um, what else? I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! December. What? I feel like my hair gets flat so freaking fast. Yeah, Laura Mercier Loose Setting Translucent Set. Wait, hold on. Let me try that again. Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. Is it Royal Techniques? Royal? Royal. We have a hair product and well, a hair tool, and that is the baby hair. I could have untangled this before I showed you. <laughs> it's actually an earth. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Where's my Starbucks? You didn't ask for it. Before you left, I said, I'm just kidding. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> I'm just kidding, get out. Okay. <laughs>